Welcome back to our Design and Make series from CNC Router Parts. Now I'll take the G-code from part 2 and set up and run it on a Benchtop Pro CNC machine. You can learn more about the Ready to Assemble Benchtop Pro CNC machine at cncrouterparts.com or on one of the linked videos. We'll start by loading our 24 by 24 inch bamboo plywood onto the machine. Next, I'll load the Project G code on our CNC control computer. For this project, we want to make as many wine glass holders as can fit on our 24 by 24 inch bamboo plywood sheet. This means we'll want to be especially careful about clamp placement for work holding. We can use a toolpath preview of the loaded G code file to visualize where the clamps should be placed and to ensure that they will not be interfered with. With our clamps placed, we'll do a final jog to check the work limits and make sure everything fits onto the sheet. Now I will install the first tool in our routing plan, a quarter inch ball end mill. Next we'll zero our Z axis using the Auto Zero Touch Plate and the Auto Zero Macro, both available from cncrouterparts.com. Now we're ready to start routing. The ball end mill is the perfect tool for the 3D contour operations at the start of our program. To minimize tool changes and increase productivity, our 3D contour operations will route all of the wine glass holders before pausing for a tool change. The ball end mill will do an excellent job of contours and require very minimal sanding after. We're now ready for our second tool of the program and our first tool change. We'll install the 1 quarter inch flat end mill. As before, we'll calibrate our Z-axis using the touch plate and the Auto Tool Zero macro and lock free. With the tool change completed, we can resume the program. Our 2D pocket operation will remove all the material from the central hole feature and the contour will cut out the overall shape of our wine glass holder. The tabs left after the operation will keep the wine glass holder secure. Using very conservative feed rates, our machining time was 42 minutes for 8 wine glass holders. To free the wine glass holders, I'll use a chisel, making sure that the flat side of the chisel is facing the wine glass holder. The board will only require a light sanding, especially on the non routed side. And we have a completed wine glass holder. These make great gifts and are very easy to make. If you'd like to explore this or other projects, go to cncrouterparts.com. Thanks for watching. To learn more about our complete CNC machine kits, parts, and plans, visit cncrouterparts.com.